The government of St. Lucia has adopted a phased approach to the introduction of Universal Health Coverage, UHC. Prior to the implementation of UHC, there is a need to develop a financing policy, which is a core function of this health system reform. The financing policy will help chart the way forward for equitable access to health care for St. Lucians while ensuring financial protection. Under UHC, there are very important health pillars that we have to address to be able to attain UHC. Pillars such as health management information system, pillars such as um, service delivery, um, governance and finance, and, and very important pillars that you must address to be able to attain UHC. So we'll be having focus group discussions with smaller groups. They'll be coming in simultaneously during the week, chiefly on Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, to be able to have that discussion which would feed into our UHC white paper or roadmap. The aim of the week-long workshop was for specialists representing the World Bank to support the government of St. Lucia to develop a health financing policy and strategy to support the drafting of the UHC white paper and to provide guidance for the launch and implementation of the performance-based financing scheme. But what I would say that the importance of the World Bank is that you have a project which is called the Health System Strengthening Project and the project is supporting the government to, to accelerate UHC. Beyond the World Bank, we also have a Korea World Bank Partnership Facility and uh, this grant, this uh, donation from the Korean government also propels you to further you know, achieve UHC. And actually the workshop that we do together, it's a part of that KWPF effort, uh, effort and, the, uh, and the Health System Strengthening Project is providing a platform for you to implement it. So it's not only talking and coming up with diagnostics, but also implementing, which is the most important. Health Minister Honorable Moses Jabatis says their analysis allowed the government of St. Lucia to identify the need for healthcare reform. But now that we've decided as a government that we are going to implement universal healthcare, we, we needed to bring together some professionals to look at what we have already and also to, to discuss different modes of financing and how our agencies in St. Lucia, um, the Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs and, and, and other public sector agencies can work together to come up with ideas for a, a financing uh, model. Certainly we will also consult with, with individuals, doctors, other professionals, St. Lucians who have worked on universal health care before. So this workshop today, uh, which has been supported by the Korean, the, the Korean Partnership um, and also the World Bank Group, uh, will help us to, to come a little closer to our goal of understanding the, 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 the ramifications of health care financing um, for St. Lucia. Some areas of discussion and analysis included an overview and situational analysis of health financing issues in St. Lucia. This required collaboration between intergovernmental agencies and ministries. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Ms. Jenny Daniel, spoke to the critical need for collaboration and knowledge exchange. We are looking forward to overall reforming of our health sector um, to ensure that our population has adequate access to very much high quality healthcare services. Of course, all of this has a cost and health financing speaks to the ability of the country to finance health services for everyone, to, for the benefit of everyone. This workshop here today brings to the head table the discussions about health financing that are very vital towards the implementation of UHC. The week-long workshop also comprised of smaller focus groups. These groups of key stakeholders concentrated on the inclusion of tools garnered in the health financing workshop to be weaved into the universal health coverage white paper. For the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Jade Brown.